I think that they say, write what you know, and what I know is wasting your youth uh, staring at screens. So I always uh, go there. I also think that staring at screens is probably the thing that we do most that we make art about least. Um, it's sort of the thing that we all do while we're awake at this point. And yet I think it's pretty invisible in our work because the work of course is on the screen. So I think um, uh, as an artist, the screen becomes such a beautiful and malleable metaphor to talk about uh, like how it feels to be alive and especially to be alive in a world where you don't quite feel like you fit in. I think on my first film, we're all going to the World's Fair because the budget on that film was so small. I knew that the resources that I was going to have at my disposal was literally like the photo booth application on the Mac. And so I think I really did a lot of thinking on that one about how to, I think, break the myth that filming people watching things is not interesting. I actually think it's the most interesting thing because somebody's face when they're looking at something is beautiful and rich. And uh, yeah, movies about screens leaves a lot of room for portraiture. It leaves a lot of room to play with um, Sorry. aesthetics and uh, <laughs> yeah, screen, screen away. <laughs> um, no, I just, I just find it incredibly beautiful. I think I, I zeroed in early on um, on it as just like an image that I'm obsessed with and could continue to play with in the way that, you know, like Picasso painted guitars, I'm painting my, uh, my, my, you know, like old analog TV screens. I, um, finished it and, uh, and I walked over to my partner and I said, I have no idea what the fuck I just read and I have to do this movie. Um, and then I met with Jane and Jane was like, you want to do the movie? And I was like, yeah, I really do. That's kind of how it went down, right? We talked about other stuff, too. Well, we, we talked about it in extent, and Jane kind of sh told me their vision for it, and I had already seen World's Fair. Um, so I, I, I kind of understood tonally what they were going for, but it was really the, the most um, muscular thing I've ever read, uh, character-wise, and um, I really wanted to throw my hat in and see if I could do it. Yeah, I feel like I read it and I it stayed with me really actively in my body. Like the colors were really clear to me um, and the emotional heights and back alleys that the film takes, I had never seen before. And even when I was reading it, I knew that it would be super challenging, but it would be something that would like uh, that would like fill my body with a completely new life force to say these words um and also yeah i just really loved jane and we got along very well immediately and so yeah it was no, it was no question yeah i wrote the film while dealing with i'd say like the first six months of fallout from my gender transition which i think is a really specific time um sort of like very similar to when i got on uh, uh sris where they say like you're gonna have all of the bad side effects first before the good side effects kick in um, the beginning of transition, I think for a lot of trans folks is a really bewildering time where everything you've come to accept as reality is sort of being thrown into flux. And, um, and it's both this incredibly beautiful and courageous leap of faith and at times can feel completely uncharted, like you have no roadmap for what your life is and where you're going. Um, and I really wanted to make some art from within that experience uh, and try to capture it honestly, because I don't think a lot of people have had the opportunity to make films about that. Um, and so, you know, what I learned on my first film was that there, I, I think there's a lot of internal pressure to, to like when you're making queer work, try to um, reverse engineer a message, um, you know, or something like inspirational or moving, um, you know, that, that that's speaking about it from the outside um, to placate non-queer audiences or to tell them that we're human beings. And that's just not interesting to me. I wanted to make something that felt honest and true to my own experiences in hopes that other people would see themselves in it too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, when I was um, 18 years old, I, I made um, my partner, who's still my partner, um, a mixtape uh, with anthems for a 17 year old girl on it. And after transition, we went back and we found this mixtape and um, 
we listened to it and we were both just like, haha, this is definitely the mixtape that a straight boy makes at 18. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's just like all the gayest sad girl songs that you can imagine. But I think I really clung to those um, those songs and, you know, in the same way that Owen clings to the Pink Opaque as um, ways to express myself and my identity before I was able to as myself. Yeah, there was a lot for me to track. Um, I, I think I was, I became really obsessed with the quality of my work because I wanted to do it justice, not yeah. no pun intended. But um, <laughs> because it, it wasn't just, um, uh, it wasn't just, it wasn't a typical character arc. You know, I wanted to bring um, an essence of uh, younger Owen into the performance. I wanted to bring an essence of. Isabel into the performance. I wanted to track his how his how severe his asthma gets over time. How how much of a shell of himself he becomes, um, and I think a, I got to a place where I was really trying to like control the performance, and and I realized it wasn't helping me, and and forfeiting that control and just trusting Jane's vision is ultimately what got me to a place where I was proud of what I did, you know, and, and Jane always had a strong vision for this. And, um, seeing the movie, I was like, uh, yeah, there was, there was, there was nothing that I needed to, uh, forge. It was, it was all, it was all there in Jane's mind. I just had to flow. Don't watch TV. Um, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Remember at one point, Justice was like, what's the moral? Is it don't apologize? I was like, yeah, that's it. Don't apologize. Yeah. Okay. I, hope, I hope the movie turns people trans personally, you know, <laughs> specifically um, this, the United States Senate. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs>